I'm Roxane Gay, and I'm talking about women's power. As a feminist, I spend a lot of time thinking about power and especially power and gender and how it might work. And one of the goals we have for feminism is ideally to see more women in positions of leadership. But that said, we tend to have this idea that if women are leaders, if women do have power, that we are going to be different from men. We're going to use our power differently. We're going to prioritize perhaps the collective over the individual and everything is going to be okay. But, um, you know, uh, that's not true. Women are as susceptible to power and uh, the corruption that comes with power as uh, men. The reality is that we don't have a lot of models for how to be powerful that aren't men or people behaving or using power in like sort of the typical ways. And so without models of what alternative ways of being powerful can look like, you know, people don't have anything to go on. And so you just do what you know and what you've seen. Powerful men tend to want to hoard power and resources and access and to do so to their own benefit. And so I would love to see this idea that conquest is the only way to use power. Uh, I would love to see that go away. I would love to see the abuses that come with power go away because most people, they, they earn power um, by taking from others uh, in the same way that people who earn reach a certain level of wealth, they, they get that level of wealth because they haven't paid someone what they're worth. And we see the same sort of dynamic with power. When people amass a great deal of power, they do so at the expense of people whose power is taken away. For men and women to have equal power in society, you know, men would have to cede some of the power that they hold and recognize that their masculinity is not threatened. You know, there's a saying, and I don't know who first said the saying, but to people with power, equity or equality feels like oppression. And so people in power have to start to recognize that equality is not oppression. Uh, and so men have to recognize that. But I also don't know that we need to sit around waiting for men to achieve power. You know, like, that's not how this works. Sometimes you just have to take power. Uh, and so someday our feminist overlords will show us how it's done.